Welcome back guys to some more Ocarina of Time. Last time we did about half or a little bit more than half of the Shadow Temple and today I, well starting off right here in the boat where I left off pretty much last time and we're gonna just move on forward. If you want to get that Skulltool over there by the way just play the Scarecrow song and you can long shot to it. And also I have full health and I'm missing a bit of money. I went back into Kakariko Village to uh, go and buy a fairy. So I have a fairy with me just in case I die. And I bought an extra one and I used it to fully heal myself, so yeah. I only have one. I probably should have gotten two, but so well. I don't I hopefully don't need to use both of or er, the the only one I've got. But anyways, let's just move on forward with this. As soon as you start playing this and you get into the actual control of Link again, you're gonna be fighting a Skulltula or a gold what's it called? The skeleton warrior. Whatever his name is. Stalfos, that's right. Let's forget. Now what you could do right here is fight him, or you can just forcibly... Oh god. I've got his range is a lot better than mine. And he can apparently go through my shield like I can. But you can forcibly... Oh god, I forgot that there's two of them. You could make these guys fall off. Fall off, god damn it. Thank you. And now, this guy. Oh my god. Yeah, just stay frozen. Just stay frozen. Uh, I wanna use the hover boots to get over there. Okay. Just... Abandon ship! It worked! It worked, we live! We were able to abandon ship correctly. Oh my god. That actually had me really scared, because if he jump attacked me, I would've used up my only fairy. Oh my god, he's gonna jump here. Run away, run away, run away. He's too close. Wait. We will see him die. Goodbye, Stalfos. You are a good soldier. But now, you fell into the abyss. Alright, this room is always really annoying for me. So what I do is, uh, before I go exploring all the other areas, I just come here and use this. Leave this. That way is when uh, you get the... You actually have to find a key and a boss key in this, like, corridor and uh even with the compass and map i'm always really stupid to find my way back so yeah <laughs> i just leave this and just warp back to this specific area so no problems with that all right let's see now i just use lens of truth i need to have some magic though so uh let's see let's try and kill this one whoops god damn it I'm not gonna reach these. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to reach those guys. Oh god. Oh my god. The wall saved me. Get away from me! Oh god. Okay, I just really need magic. I don't care about anything else. Come on, get closer! Oh yeah, we can go right through the wall with our spin attack. Break the system! Now I gotta run away before it catches me! Oh my god! Oh, that really scared me. Oh, that was close. Actually, this is the one room we don't need to come in. We'll just ignore that. Oh, there's magic still there. I didn't know that they still... still stayed there even if I went into a room. Oh well. Just ignore you. Hi, bye. Oh, why'd I use my shield? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Alright. There's an invisible that guy here, so... Oh my god, I missed them all! Wait! Oh, I'm gonna have to use my, uh... This, because I don't want to use up my fairy here. Okay. Oh, I hate using this spell, but I always get worried. Oh my god. And I just remember that I can't use any magic while I'm... Oh my god, I didn't even need to use it. I didn't get... I didn't even take a hit. I just panicked like... <laughs> I panicked so bad right there. Well... Whoops. Good job, Link. Although I can't use my... Lens of Truth now, which sucks. Oh well. We just have to wait a few more seconds before we can use all of our magic items again. 
I feel like they balance the fact that you can be invincible for a few seconds really well. Okay, skip you. Skip you. I believe the only place I have not gone in yet is this way. Pretty sure. Yeah. Please? Okay. Actually, wait. I'm still in my invincible form. Okay, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And now, Din's fire! Oh my god, I, I don't know why, but playing this game again, I always remember how stupid I was as a kid. When I was a kid playing this, I died in this one room so many times because I didn't know you had to use Din's fire to uh, make it and actually burn those walls down. I always just tried to use my sword or use the bow. None of that worked, obviously. And I would just die over and over here, just get- because if you didn't use Din's fire, you would eventually get squished. Squashed, squished, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that is not, it's not fun times. Because then you'd die after a while, because I would be really weak, because everything would always kill me. But, anyways, enough of my childhood stupidities. We pretty much have everything we need now. So let's, uh... Ah, uh, goddammit. I need to be closer, because, uh... I apparently can't aim from that far. What? Oh my god. Aim, please! There we go. Okay. And come down, statue! <laughs> I'm looking the wrong way. I just need a few arrows. It's so this boss. Oh boy, this boss. <laughs> Like the best boss in history. Come on, pick it up. Okay, arrows. Arrows by the plentiful. Come on. Oh my god. I don't know why he won't pick it up. And there wasn't even anything in it. Oh boy, Link. You and your stupidities. Alright, let's see. Let's equip the... I'm actually gonna try and have some fun with this boss and just screw around with him. Just to make it a bit more interesting with for you guys. Alright, I don't know how well this is going to work out with me having, like, the very small magic meter. I've actually never done it with so very little magic. Okay. Now this room, let's try not to mess this up, okay? Because I, I just noticed that I'm... Oh, and I, of course I mess it up. God damn it, I only have one hit on me left. Actually, I'm gonna cut out and go back to full health, so I will be right back. Okay, so, uh, I was only really able to find one heart. So, let's hopefully not die before actually making it to the boss. Because that would make me sad, and we don't want to be sad. Oh god. I'm really concentrating just to get to the boss. Okay, good. But I'm pretty sure I can't screw this over- screw myself- okay, good. That was uh, a lot closer than it should have been. Oh my god! Okay, I don't like using the the hover boots in this fight. Even though I think you're supposed to use them, I'm not. A, I'm not a hundred percent sure you're supposed to use them, but oh well, we will. There we go, Phantom Shadow Beast Bongo Bongo. By far my favorite boss in the entire game. Oh my god, this... This boss is just so... Oh my god, come on. Yeah, I just thought I'd just show off a few things about the boss. Uh, if you actually use the ice arrows, you can actually make them try and free themselves by uh, hitting the other one like so. And I thought I'd just show that off. I always like that. And now... Oh my god, I missed! Why did I not Z-target? Oh my god. Well, there's your one fairy for the fight. Hopefully I won't mess up at all. Wow. 
That was a complete fail. Because I forgot to Z-target. There we go. Ah, you can only get one. Apparently you can only get one hit on it. Oh, that was close. Come on. Come on, Bongo Bongo. Alright. So yeah, this boss battle is actually pretty simple. Just... Oh my god, I <laughs> panicked again. They'll drop more and more arrows in magic, like, after you hit the hands, so no real problem with that. Alright. Okay, there we go. We're actually running pretty low on arrows now that I noticed this. But other than that, the boss battle's pretty much over in, like, one more hit. I definitely don't want to show off any of his moves that can potentially kill. Well, his, like, basically slamming into you attack. That's an attack. Oh, I missed? What? Well, apparently, you, if you don't hit him fast enough... Oh! God dang it. Okay, good, I thought. There we go. Um... Huh. I might die here. Oh, phew. So, come on. I have one arrow left! For all the marbles! Oh god dang it, I don't have any arrows left! Oh god! Oh god, I have no arrows left! Um, what am I supposed to do now? Well... Huh. Well, first of all, I'm going to use... This so I don't die. Can I use it? Okay, good. Well, maybe now I can actually show off his moves. Since he can hit me for free and I don't take damage. Well, here's another one. He smacks you, but I hit one of his- oh! Oh! Okay, good. I got arrows. Well, if you don't hit the hands, like, fast enough, he'll smack you like that. He can do that, too. There's one attack that I really don't like, and that's when, uh... Oh, god damn it! I forgot that. I can't use Lens of Truth here. There we go. Oh, wow. He's lasting a lot longer than I remember him. But then again, I usually have the big Goron sword for this fight. Alright, come on. Come at me, bro. Hiya! And die! Alright, so only one death to Bongo Bongo. Pretty successful boss fight. Sort of. I was not <laughs> expecting to miss that first arrow and just die. I think that took two full hearts, so... Yeah. Other than that, one other thing I want to show off is if he drops... He can usually drop you if he punches you into this like little lava pit right here. But, uh... If you have the fire tunic on, it'll take a while before it actually does damage. But if you have any, any of the other tunics on... You, uh, will take damage, like, if you were standing on lava, so... I thought I'd just explain that. But anyways, let's move onward. Oh, yeah. The power of Link. And now we can finally receive... Or come back into the Chamber of Sages to finally receive the final medallion. Oh, my God. We've been waiting for this for quite some time now. All six or seven medallions. It's, it, is it six? Is it five? Is it seven? I don't know. But we have them all now. And there she is, Impa the Great. Finally congratulating us on how awesome we were. Thank you. Please, Impa. Please. <clears throat> I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, Ganondorf is apparently a lot stronger than the Shikas, or Shikas, or how, however you say that. Ganondorf has proven himself to be quite an adversary, quite a foe. I'd definitely like to fight him. And I think now that we have all of the medallions, we can actually go and fight him and uh, show him who's boss. 
Now, there is one thing I want to mention before I actually end off this episode by getting the last medallion and pretty much ending it off there. Next time, we're going to be seeing an extremely long cutscene, so that's how I'm going to be starting off the episode. So I won't be commentating over that extremely long cutscene. I know I'm kind of ruining this cutscene by talking over it, but I think I've always done that with all the other sages, so yeah, too bad. But besides that, Impa is pretty much done talking and we get ourselves a medallion. There we go. The final medallion. Feels good. We got ourselves the shadow medallion. Awesome. Please look out for the princess. We will. We will. And also, as soon as you get all of the medallions, you get another extra cutscene. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six ages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the king of evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. Oh? The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Well, alrighty then. I also need to get a bit more fairies. <laughs> uh, but anyways, and I also need arrows. That's it for this time. Next time, we're going to see who's waiting for us at the Temple of Time. So I will see you guys next time. Until then.